Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about geometric sequences. As shown here in the syllabus. The formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence is given in page 3 of your formula booklet. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term can be obtained from the previous term by multiplying by the same fixed number. And that same fixed number is called the common ratio and is given the symbol R. In the first example shown here, each term is multiplied by 2 to get to the next term, so the common ratio R is 2. In the second example, each term is halved in other words, multiplied by a half. So the common ratio R is a half. In the third example, each term is multiplied by negative 3. So the common ratio R is negative 3. In general, to find the common ratio, you need to divide consecutive or successive terms, as shown in these formula here. In practice, you will probably divide the second term by the first, or perhaps the third by the second, or even the fourth by the third. The formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence is un is equal to u1 multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1, where u1 is the first term and r is the common ratio. As I said, said, this formula is given in your formula booklet. And the diagram shown here is to help illustrate the formula. In this question, we're given a geometric sequence and we're asked to find the tenth term. We could start by drawing a diagram and showing the first term, which is 3. and multiplying that by the common ratio, which is negative 2, to give a second term, u2, of negative 6. And if we multiply that term by negative 2, we will get a third term, u3, of 12, a fourth term of negative 24, and if we keep this process going, we will get a tenth term, u10, of negative 1536. This simple calculation can be done neatly on your calculator. From the main menu, if we choose Run Matrix, option 1, and if we enter the first term by pressing 3 and pressing Execute, and then multiply by the common difference, so multiply by negative 2, and press execute again, we get the second term of ne negative 6. Simply pressing execute again will give us a third term of 12. And if we continue pressing execute, keeping track of which term we're calculating, eventually we'll get to the tenth term. So as before, the tenth term is negative 1,536. So in that question we're asked to find the tenth term and if we look up the definition of find in our glossary of terms we see it says to obtain an answer showing relevant stages of working. Now of course relevant stages of working could be writing down the terms but that wouldn't be an appropriate method if we had to say work out the hundredth or the five hundredth term. So another approach to this question is to use the formula, which is given in your formula booklet. So if we start by stating the first term, u1, and the common ratio, r, and then substitute these numbers into the formula. So simply replacing u1 with 3 and r with negative 2. 
Then to find the 10th term in this sequence, we simply replace n with 10. As shown, again, given the same value. So as before, the 10th term is negative 1536. In this question, we're given a geometric sequence and we're asked to work backwards and find the number of terms in the sequence. So if we start by stating the first term, so u1 is 1, and then calculate the common ratio by dividing successive terms. So you could divide the second term by the first term, or the third term by the second term, or the fourth term by the third term given a common ratio of 2. And then if we use the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence, as given in your formula book, substituting in 1 for the first term, u1, and 2 for the common ratio, r. Now to find the number of terms in the sequence, we use the fact that the last term is 512. So we, we equate our nth term to 512 to form an equation in n, the number of terms. We will use equation solver on the calculator to find n, the solution of the equation. To do that, from the main menu, if we select equation, Then press F3 to solver, and F2 to delete any previous equation, and F1 to confirm the deletion. Then if we type in the equation that we need to solve, so 512, and then shift to get to the equals, 1 multiplied by bracket, 2 close bracket, the power of, and we use x for the variable, take away 1. And if we press execute to enter the equation, and just to note that the number next to x is not the solution to this equation, because we haven't pressed solve yet. So if we press F6 to solve the equation, we'll see that x, or n in our case, is 10. So the sequence has 10 terms. And as it's just a small number of terms, we can list out the terms in the sequence to verify our answer, as shown. 